Heard of Truth Broadcast, brought to you by the Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles and Prophet Faith, where John Larry Butler is pastor. We are located at 4952 on St. Augustine Road, Tallahassee, Florida, 32311. In high school, once, once it was this way, but now this way, so people thought I had gone lost my mind, which I did. Jesus, that old man, <laughs> amen. Lost that old man, they were looking at me, wondering, and go to the lunchroom and with, with, with bowing prayer, thank God for my food, and be sensible, and we read the scripture. And I thank God, the power of God, when I received the Holy Ghost when I finished high school, and the Spirit of God. Was, but clicking the Bible, they said, what that is? I said, that's the spirit. And a lot of people start separating themselves from it. They said, it's all crazy. But nevertheless, I thank God for him saving me while in high school. And I have a friend of mine today. He's one of my best friends. He lives in Orlando. He came to the lab and said, Larry, are you all right? You all right, Larry? I said, yo, Robert, I'm fine, man. I'm fine, you know. But God, through my life and how God changed me, he sees no difference. I thank God for saving me at the age of 18, he turned 19, and God been Hallelujah. keeping me ever since. Uh, soon be 61. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. God, so I ain't no saying God can't keep you. You know, so he kept me from that point to now. Yes, yes, yes. And all the glory, all the praise, I give to the Lord. That's why I was, you know, Holy Ghost. You know, you know, and this is people. You know, yes, sir. Jesus Christ. So, and guide you to lead you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I thank God for my water baptism. Thank God for receiving the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, and the Spirit of God to others. And I thank God for changing my life. So we thank God for that. Now, the house of those of you that feel that may have a song. I'm so glad that the Lord saved me. I'm so glad that the Lord
Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for one day going down the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all of us, and I thank God for my word of baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for one day coming from the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for turning away from our sins, turning away from all my righteous living. Hallelujah. Coming from the name of the Lord. And I'll truly receive ye the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to God. We're speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance. Hallelujah. And with many other things that the Bible says comes with the Holy Ghost. I thank God for my mother, my father, my sister, my brothers. But tonight I'm glad that the Lord saved me, saints. I'm glad, hallelujah, that he changed my heart and my mind. I'm glad that he looked at my the inner man and not the outer man. Hallelujah. I'm glad that, that he destroyed, hallelujah, that fleshly mind that I had, that fleshly heart. I have. I thank God for all my trials and my tribulations. I thank God for my shortcomings because it truly is making me strong in this walk in Christ. Saints, pray my strength in the Lord. Pray God. <laughs>
why I'm up. He said, reason what you, I don't know what you're trying to do, but I know I want to go higher than you. And sometimes he can take sleep away from you. Not that you're worried about something, but your, your heart and mind is on the people of God and, and even your own spiritual walk. And I think, praise God, for just hearing the praise and testimonies of how the Lord filled different ones with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, praise God, for my parents. Because truly, they have been an example to me ever since I have known and been around this way. I'm 38 years old, and I think and praise God for it. I think and praise God for his loving kindness and how one day I heard the word of God. I think Jesus. and praise God how I went down the water in the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus. And I think and praise God for, you know, I was young, Terry, and calling the Lord for the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost. And sometimes you don't believe, like they say, believe, call him, tap for Jesus. Give up, you hear all these chants. But I think it praise God for how one day, one day, I think it praise God for one night, my was Lord. Jennifer, myself, mm -hmm. was at prayer band with Mother Hunt. And I Jesus. think it praise God, you know, when you desire something from the Lord, you, you rededicate a lot of your whole life towards him. For it's reading the Bible, um, going on my breaks, just praying, just keeping a, a, a frame of mind to receive what he said you can receive and I think it praise God how my dad used to be preaching and how he still do preach and how he would say, you know, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yes, yes, and I thank you, hallelujah, Jesus. I, I thank him because I would I would imagine myself running to the yes, Lord. Yes. You know, and I think it praise God saying truly on that night that God Jesus. touched my heart. And I you know, I was hallelujah. tired, I was coming out of the church on all throughout the week because I wanted something hallelujah. from the Lord. And I truly think and praise Lord. God for just not continuously coming. Hi, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. I thank you. Hallelujah. hallelujah, Jesus. I thank and praise God. Because I hallelujah. told myself, I said, I'm going to come to church every day mm -hmm. until I receive the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, saints, we don't, we don't, we say things, but we truly don't mean a lot of times what we say. Mm -hmm. And I think and praise God. We'll get off of work at the sheriff's department, come here on Mondays. Jesus. We had church on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And, and I came on Wednesday and Fridays, I'd be at Mother Hunt House for prayer bed, and I would come out here on Saturdays, come by myself, clean up the church, and pray a couple of Sundays. And I said, Lord, I'm doing everything. What is I'm doing wrong? Why haven't you blessed me yet? And I thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank the Lord. Hallelujah for just keeping the faith in him. But I just hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe in his name and believe in what he said he would do. And I thank and praise God. But that one night, September 21st, mm -hmm. I was so tired of my body. And I thank you. Oh. Hallelujah. Jesus, I remember Jenny kept coming in the room and, and bothering with stuff. And she said, Kim, why are we going to pray? And I thank you, praise God. She had all the ghosts that I did. Jesus, and I thank Lord God. Jesus, Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, Oh, you got it. 
that I knew for myself. And yeah, I thank you, yeah, praise yeah, God. Yeah. We was there from 8 o'clock mm. to 11 o'clock. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Truly, God. God. God is so good. Yeah. He's worthy to be praised. Well, the preacher preach, just believe it. Yeah. Don't worry about who don't believe it. Whoever yeah, not doing you got to do it for yourself. Yeah. And I truly thank you, praise God. I have a mind to continue to keep filling out to him, keep wanting him more and more. Continue to pray yeah. my strength in the Lord. Then after the sisters and brothers, come and give us a lecture, please. Lord, you know. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. We are so excited to be here tonight. Hallelujah. All of us as women, we done been through something. But thank God, I was thinking about this song this week. After all I've been through, I still got joy. I still got peace. I still got love. So we want to sing this song to the glory of God and let the Lord know how much we appreciate him. That through all we've been through, we still have joy. And we still have joy.
grateful for the songs of the sisters and the brothers. We thank God for that. Amen. You know, get, get everybody involved, right? Amen. That's all right. So we thank God for all things. Is there any announcements?
you to just from time to time anyway. But it was just a beautiful blessing that the Lord had people to think about me, especially yeah. on Friday. I received three different texts from three different people. One was from Sister Davis. She was um, up in Nebraska traveling. She used to do road trips and stuff. Drive a truck. She was traveling from Nebraska to Utah. She said, you blow my mind. I just had to send you a text to see how you were doing. I responded back to her. And then the last one was that night, Friday night, from a friend of mine, sister friend in Maryland, Victoria, Sister Mason. And I just thank the Lord because she said, I just wanted to just to send you a text just to say, stay encouraged. And I thank the Lord for that. Yes. I called her back. I told her I'd try to call you back, Lord's willing, on this weekend, which I did. I called um, Sister Mason back. And I told her, I, I truly thank the Lord because she oftentimes encourages me. Send me a little, little text from time to time. I thank the Lord for that. And I called her back. And before I got off the phone Saturday with her, I was feeling some kind of weight in my spirit. It wasn't a bad thing. It was a good thing. You know how you feel like you want to break out in a prayer. Yes. And I heard her. She was saying a little prayer before we got off the phone. She said, I rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. And I thank the Lord for that. I hung up the phone. And I went back in the back room to get on the computer. I was looking for some stuff on the computer. I thank the Lord for that little time and that little space. Yes, yes, yes. Because when I sat down and my husband looked at the chair, I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord sent me a refreshing. Okay. Every now and then I heard Sister Maya talk about the other day, just what, Friday night or whatever she was talking about, about mm -hmm. the stuff. I thank the Lord for how he made me feel from time to time. He said, yeah, no, refreshing. On Saturday, after I got off the and I thank the Lord. I, I couldn't. I mean, the spirit was so great. I couldn't even talk the way I wanted to talk. When I wanted to to say something, my mind in my mind, I just had to, to say it in my mind because something else was coming through my mouth. And I thank the Lord for that. I thank the Lord how I saw a lot of different faces, some of the family members, some church members, and I just kept saying in my mind, Lord, bless them, have mercy on them. Because I thank the Lord, he is so good. Yes. I just can't, there's words, there's no words that can express how good the Lord has been to me in my life. So many times I should have been or could have been dead. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, but the Lord yes. has kept me. And I thank Praise the Lord for yes. how he makes me feel from time to time. The little expression. Yes. Yes. Time to time, a sister had called me. When I was in the midst of praising the Lord, hallelujah, Lord Jesus. All I could do was just tap the phone. I couldn't even speak and say hello, greetings, how you doing? Hallelujah. But when the, the spirit died down, so, so we don't always say hi all the time. When the spirit died down, the sister told me, she said, sister, she said, I felt what you was feeling and moaning and groaning. I felt it through the phone. Hallelujah. She was just talking to the Lord, and I just praise the Lord. He is so good. I know there's so many things out there that go but one thing I do know, if I can just hold on yeah, to the yeah. word of God, if I can just read it and believe it, and yeah. have faith that the Lord will come through, not only for me, I oftentimes pray for many other people. Some people I don't even know. I just say, Lord, just have mercy on the drug addicts, the drug dealers, those in the military. I pray for a lot of different people and a lot of different things. And I just ask for you all to not only keep me in prayer, but there are some people out there that truly want to do right, but they just don't know how or where or when to do it. And I'm just asking that you pray for those people as well. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. through the childbirth um, process. It's the scary thing, you know, it's life or death, you know. And I went that morning and said, Lord, I don't know if I'm going to come back home. You know, sometimes women just love the babies and they never see them. But I think God will bring me through the delivery yeah. process of being there. And making a, a, a shorter um, labor process than it was with Kim. And that's what my husband and I had been praying for, you know, just a quick process. Um, but I just thank God for just still um, just some issues I went through. and. She had some issues, but I still thank God for life on her. Yeah. Although yeah. it may not be 100% like it wants to 
be. I just thank God for giving me another chance to stand in the house of the Lord. I'm waiting when I go to church during the week, being able to pray in our home, you know, being able to get on our knees and even with Kenzie, you know, just sit there and call on Jesus and, and just pray and, and feel God and, and get in touch with heaven, you know. And I just thank God for all the things that he's done for us. I just want to sing a, a little bit of this song. <clears throat> God can, God, God can, God can, yeah. Yeah, he can. 